What's up YouTube? Uh, we're gonna do a quick video on um, how to make a quick attach boom lift for your uh, skid steer with the quick attach. Uh, behind me we've got my Cat 242D sound. Um, use this little baby as a tractor. I picked this up instead of uh, buying a tractor. I need to do a lot of work around the around the house and um, I just figured like the bang for your buck is, is a skid steer. But anyway, um, I did a, we needed, you know, we come into situations where we need to lift things up, maybe motors up out of the back of the truck or heavy stuff and, uh, you know, trying to get it on the bucket and all that can be precarious at times. So, uh, I just made a really, really cheap, uh, made a really, really cheap, uh, lift and I'm going to show you how I did it. Kind of show you, kind of tell you what it cost me. Um, did a little trading with the neighbor, but for the most part, this thing was, uh, I would say I don't know, under under $200 build for a pretty good boom for for a quick attach Kubota or quick attach you know skid steer. Uh, so let's get to it. Right, this model has the heads up display, kind of nice. This baby's got the AC. I mean, it's much better than sitting out in the sun in a tractor. So I I recommend if you're you know have some land and you're in the market for a, a just a utility tractor. To heck with that. You get a used skisser for around the same price and tell you what it's much much better if you ask me um, I mean there are some things that tractor has advantage over but I, I don't know you just can't beat, beat a skidster for all around little workhorse little tank but uh all right let's move around here got the quick attach so if you look right there that's a Meyer plow I'm gonna make I'm gonna be making a plow for this as well, which I'll do a follow-up video and uh, let y'all see how I do that. Um, but we'll get after it. I'm gonna hook up to this, see right there, and we'll, I'll be right back. All right, so let's have a look. It's got about a seven-foot, four-inch uh, square beam with a tang on the front, whatever you want to call that. A hook come down like that okay this plate right here <coughs> I paid like 149 bucks for this it's a 3 8 thick steel um, and then really just found some scrap nice 45 cut welded it up I mean, I've seen I've seen a couple guys make these I think if my opinion they go a little crazy with it uh, you know, it's gonna tilt probably I haven't got it to its max, but I mean it's gonna tilt pretty probably Less than 2,000 pounds at that angle. So I mean to make to go crazy on the support You know, you're gonna make it you're gonna waste your time waste metal I think and you know make it to where it's gonna it'll never max out that with how much you can actually carry but um, I'll get a couple shots of it up in the air, but as you can see, pretty handy.
All right, so you guys get the idea. Um, you know, that thing probably weighs, I don't know, I'm gonna just guess, four or 500 pounds maybe. Uh, like, like ease. Now I'm gonna show you a little thing that I did here on this angle. I found a piece that had holes in it. So I'm gonna make two bars that go out maybe four feet on either side. Uh, I'll do angle, some more angle and then um, have it to where they can bolt in. And then at the end there, I'll have where I can do a cable up to the, whatever I'm, whatever I have. So like this, that'd be slick if I could pick, because it was, you could see how it was going to twist or whatever. You got to be careful. But uh, if I had, you know, a, basically a kind of an outrigger on either side coming up with some cable, you know, I'd have that thing solid. If I need to drive this over to the neighbor's property or run down or, you know, run to over to, you know, up the road. But uh, you get the picture. Freaking, uh, this was scrap my neighbor had. I did some plumbing work for him. He traded that for me. Uh, I got another buddy who's got a plasma cutter. We just cut this tang out and, you know, $10 freaking hook. So can't beat it, man. Can't beat it. Uh, <clears throat> the next video I'm gonna make <coughs> will, be, will be this uh, Meyer plow, seven and a half foot Meyer plow. Um, I'm gonna chance, I'm gonna fix the uh, hydraulics to fit the uh, quick quick connects on the I'm gonna just make basically make them half inch quick connect uh, I'm gonna cut all of the uh, brackets off of this truck right here this plow truck I'm gonna fix this up make my boys drive it to high school so we're gonna take the plow off of it but uh, I'm gonna just take everything off the bottom and make it mount weld it and make it mount directly to a blank plate which it's gonna work good. I got the blank plate right there, so good to go. Anyway, peace out. Uh, if you guys wanna, I'm, we're talking maybe 200, 300 bucks if you had to buy all this stuff. Good luck finding any quick attach for skid steer for less than that. <clears throat> um, the plows, I mean, these are 4,500 bucks. This is a plow I picked up with the truck for 1,500 bucks, so. Uh, again, when I'm done with this, I'll have a plow that uh, Meyer charges 4500 for almost the same thing. But anyway, if this helps anybody out, uh, great. If you have any questions, comments, let me know. Uh, happy to help anybody. Peace out.